All right. Today's topic is immigration. Okay, so uh, please tell me, Ignacio, what do you think about immigration? Mm, I think the immigration is necessary mm, sometimes for the country. Uh -huh. Why? Uh, why the people search the new opportunities, a new life, um, better to life, um, have better your family? Mm -hmm, that's it. You're right. People sometimes look for a better lifestyle to, to live with some, uh, well, comfortably. And look for some other places. Okay, so guess what? We are going to see some parts. Here you are. Some pieces of components of vocabulary that can be very for you. So do me a favor. Why don't you read these uh, words and check what are the words that are non-familiar for you? Okay, the ones that are difficult or that you don't know. And write in the chat. Words. Berta, welcome. How are you? Fine, thank you, teacher. Excellent. Uh, Berta, guess what? Today we are talking about immigration. So uh, I, I was asking to Ignacio to look for the words that are in the screen. Uh, all of the, the words that are different, difficult, or maybe that you don't know. And let's write them in the chat so that we can have the, the meaning, okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay, so uh, Berta wrote the difficult word for me is attorney. Attorney is a person, a professional who is going to help you in any legal issue. Uh, they are the same as uh, lawyers. Lawyers and attorney are the same. Any other word, Gera, eh, Ignacio? Some difficult words. Okay, Ignacio wrote, homeland. Homeland is the place where you live. For example, um, I am from Mexico City, but my homeland is Ecatepec because it is the place where I live. 
Ecatepec is my homeland. Okay, Berta. Other is judgment. Judgment is a process that uh, somebody can follow to decide if the if a situation is just or not. For example, when we have a divorce, uh, it is not only to say, I am divorced. You have to uh, have a judgment so that the judge gives you the um, decision of who is going to take the children, who is going to have the pension. So the process is the judgment. Poverty, Ignacio wrote poverty. Poverty is the condition of being poor. Poor people don't have money, they don't have food, they don't have opportunities. That's poverty. And advocate. Advocate is also a lawyer. A lawyer, an attorney, an advocate are the same. It's similar. Okay, any other word, kids? Some some more uh, new words? Attorney, yeah, attorney is a lawyer. Okay, so do me a favor. Now we are going to write some sentences in the chat using the words that we have already uh, checked up. I am going to give an example. Um, immigration is a social phenomena. Mm. Uh, um, uh, cost by poverty, uh, insecurity, and uh, uh, um, and oh my, what else? Uh, ha, and Sometimes war. Okay, this is my example. So let's try to use the words, okay? Making some examples in the chat. Uh, if you write, we can check uh, grammar, spelling, and use of English. I can give you feedback, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Excellent, Ignacio. The naturalization is difficult for people uh, who, don't, who are not American. 
Okay, so uh, in this case, Ignacio, we say for people who are not American. Who are not? Aha, uh -huh, yes. Uh, That's okay. We are not going to use the verb to be, auxiliar to be, with any other auxiliar. In this case, don't is is totally incorrect. It's okay. Is people not persons? Aha, uh -huh. person is singular. The plural is people. Okay, that's okay. Okay, excellent. Berta wrote, uh, po the poverty immigration who lives in the United States need attorney for having documents. Aha. Uh -huh. You know what, Berta? I think that yes. the correct one is the poor Im uh, immigrants who live. Oh. Those immigrants uh -huh. poverty, no? That's what you wanted to yes. say. The poor yes. Uh, immigrants who, uh -huh. who live uh -huh. in the United States need attorneys for having documents. That's it. Oh. <laughs> okay. Thank it you. It was very good. Very good example. Okay. Now let's go to the. Okay, Ignacio wrote the state. The United States is the country with very strict laws. Uh, here it is going to be uh, in different order, Ignacio, uh, with very strict laws, okay? Okay, okay. Excellent, you know what? You are doing pretty well. Thank you. My pleasure, you are very good. Okay, let's go to some other images. Okay, here we go. Can't you see? Well, here what we can see, oh my, <laughs> give me a moment. Okay, here we are. What we can see in here is some of the implications that immigration have. For example, the look for a job or familiar disintegration, endanger their lives, or discrimination. So, uh, please, Berta, could you help me to describe one picture, whichever you may like, the one that you select, okay? Tell me what you see in the picture. Mm -hmm. I see in the picture some people at the ship or I don't know the name, Barco? Uh, boat. Boat. I saw some people in the boat. They are going to, I think, to United States. States. They they like they want to go like immigration um, to that place to that site. Um, yes. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Thank you very much. 
Okay, now uh, Ignacio, please talk to me about any any picture, the one that you select. Uh, okay, uh, I select picture one. Okay. Mm, the picture ones, uh, there are a group, the, the people, and search job. Um, there are a hand, hands, mm, enseñando o ofreciendo, ¿cómo se dice? Offering. Offering a position job a one person. Okay. And in your opinion, what is it? Excuse me. In your opinion, what is it? The the hand offering a job. I don't understand. Um, well, do you think that uh, there are countries who offer job for people? Ah, uh, that's okay. Mm, my opinion? Yes, please. Um, my opinion is, is very, is very fun uh, for uh, ofrecer, ¿cómo se dice? Offer. Offers, uh, jobs and, and person that is different countries for for we have better opportunities excellent yes thank you very much you know what um i have heard that in australia for example the government is offering a job and a house for people who want to go to live in Australia. Uh, the same case happened in Canada. Do you know about any country that offers uh, any job to people to move into the, the country? Mm. If the, if it's a very good offer, yes, yes, uh, travel uh, country. Uh, that's it. Okay, thank you, Ignacio. So, Berta, what's your opinion? Do you know any country that offers jobs for people? Yes, I know one country. I know Canada. Canada is offering a job to anybody, uh, young people, um, people who go, who already have a um, licenciatura. How to say? A college degree. College degree. They want like a. Some uh, people, just people, and and they invite them to to work in Canada. I know so many people who already take job there. Not so many. Some people. Some people. Yeah. All right. Some people. Okay. Excellent. Thank you very much. I guess that they are very, um, very good positions, very good situations for people to go to work and live in Canada. What's yes. your opinion? My opinion? Yes. Oh. My opinion about they are there? Yeah. Uh -huh. the, the people who go to Canada, for example. Oh, my opinion is, uh, 
it's it's good but not so good because they they need to go to other country in our mexico we need better better salary better job better position for these people and they don't need to go there we need to to have better better job these uh, young people uh, they need better position and good salary so they don't need to <laughs> to look for other country mm -hmm. that's it better the opportunities i guess yes opportunity yes okay thank you very much self how are you welcome to today's class self Yes, what's your name? My name is Selene. Selene, okay, let me change your name. So, Selene, okay, thank you. Selene, how are you? Uh, fine, thank you. Excellent, welcome to today's class. Thank you. Okay, Selene, guess what? Today we are talking about immigration. Uh, we are giving our opinion on this topic. Is immigration good? Is immigration bad? What's your opinion? Uh, you know what? Uh, my... uh, yes, yes, please. Uh, my opinion is uh, the immigration is good. Uh, to understand um, other cities and other culture. Okay, very good. Yes, thank you very much. So, you know what? Here we have a series of questions. And the first one says, uh, when is immigration helpful? to a country and when is it harmful? What's your opinion about it, Selene? <clears throat> about a question number one. Uh, give me a moment, please. Oh yes, of course. Uh, in the meantime, uh, meanwhile, Selene is preparing for her answer. Uh, why don't you talk to us about it, Ignacio? What's your opinion? Okay, in my opinion, it's issues where the people to go good synthesis. Uh, a work um, and crecer, como se me, se me fue el... Grow up. Grow up and search the new opportunities. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much, Ignacio. So, eh, Berta, what do you think about this? <clears throat> yes, teacher. I think that immigration helpful to a country when they give give um, give ja give job give a uh, uh, give good things to that country and don't da damage anything and and they yeah, they uh, maybe they uh, can can be a good student good people that that is the when they can help to that country okay yes when they are positive people positive people yes 
Excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, you know what? I, I remember that about the history of Mexico. Uh, Mexico was conformed by different immigrants, uh, by different uh, people immigrants. For example, in Mexico, there came Arabic people uh, who were settled down in the region of the Huasteca. Uh, there were also uh, immigrants in Veracruz. There was also the uh, Czech Republic people who were in the north. Uh, there were also uh, the German people who were living also in Coahuila, in Chihuahua, and so Mexico was formed by a, a, a very big diversity. Uh, immigrants came to Mexico not only to, to have a opportunity, but also they came and shared their traditions, their food, their music, uh, their dressing up, and they conformed uh, together with Mexican people what we now call Mexico. That's why Mexico is so diverse, so different from state to state. And so, uh, well, I guess that immigration is not only the workforce, immigration is also a culture, culture for the place or for the country who is receiving the immigrants. So what's your opinion about this, Berta? Yes, uh, I think it's correct because I remember in Yucatan, uh, is living, are living uh, Chinese people, Chinese <clears throat> people. So they, they give, uh, they apart too many things to today. Um, uh, I don't know that the reason that they came to to that that uh, state, but it's it's true th and that one. Uh, we our Me Mexico, our Mexico from Tijuana to Yucatan is living people to different countries. Mm -hmm, that's it. And even our folklore is, uh, is different in any state. It is not the same um, Picota Tamaulipeca than Jarana Yucateca. Oh, yes. Okay, thank you very much, Berta. All right, Ignacio, what do you think about all of this uh, beautiful diversity that we have in Mexico? Okay, teacher, uh, and my opinion is, is, is good. Uh, for example, in my job, there are, there are very people uh, the different countries, for example, Venezuela, Brazil, uh, Guatemala, India, and these persons, uh, we are for job. Yeah, hey, that's great. Hey, is 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 for for work in the in the in the company and my opinion is 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 very good the conocer como se dice conocer to know to know a new person aha uh -huh, that's it and it is very interesting to to work with people with about different nationalities yeah it's it's, it's very good What's your job, Ignacio? I job um, PepsiCo in ah. CDMX. Hey, that's great. That's why, you know, 
Uh, well, you're working with international community. Yeah, international community. Wow, excellent. Thank you very much for sharing. That's a very nice experience. So I guess that for you, it is very necessary to speak English in a better way so that you can have more communication with them. Yeah, it's necessary. Hey, that's great. Okay, thank you. Okay, Berta, what do you think about this? Uh, excuse me, uh, what, uh, about what? Uh, what about the diversity that we have in Mexico? Oh, it's, it's uh, good. It's very good. Excellent. All right. So, why don't we go to question number two. Do you think... Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. Okay. Here we are. Do you think that your country needs more or less immigrants? What's your opinion? Uh, what about you, Berta? Oh, my opinion is uh we don't need we need we need uh less immigrants because we are so many people here in mexico all right excellent thank you very much ignacio what's your opinion okay in my opinion uh, um, Mexico needs more more persons working people and less less person um, uh, this, uh, bandidos uh, criminals criminals uh, less <laughs> Less yeah. criminals uh, in, in Mexico. That's it. Excellent. Uh, yeah, sometimes it is not uh, just the quality, the nationality, but the attitude. The attitude that people can have. Yeah. That, that's it. I totally agree with you. Okay, so let's go to question number three. What nationalities are some immigrants who come to your country? Uh, what's your opinion, Berta? Uh, <clears throat> what nationalities are some immigrants? Um, here are uh, some people from IT, Honduras, Venezuela, Colombia, that people are in our, in my country. Excellent. Thank you very much, Berta. Uh, what about you, Ignacio? What's your opinion? What are the nationalities for people, uh, immigrants in Mexico? In Mexico, there are more immigrants South American, uh -huh. for, for example, Honduras, Guatemala, eh, Salvador. Eh, is the persons there are more in Mexico? Uh -huh. And what what is the reason? Why so many Latin American people? In your opinion, Ignacio, why? White Latin Americans. In my opinion, mm, business. Business. Uh, is, it's behind the, the Mexico. Mm -hmm. That's it. All right. Thank you. Berta, what's your opinion about it? Uh, in my opinion, they are here because they don't, they have uh, many troubles in the, their country 
and they need food, they, they need a job, they need better life, better, better life, and they want, they want, no, they want um, better, better situation. Uh -huh. so they want a better lifestyle. Better life, yes. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, finally, let's suppose <clears throat> that not number four, not um, number five. Does your country have strict immigration laws? What's your opinion? Uh, Ignacio, what's your opinion? Do Mex does Mexico have strict immigration laws? In my opinion, I don't have a strict immigration law. It's it's very um, facile, como se dice facile? Easy. Okay, it's very easy. Um, to go to uh, Mexico. Uh -huh, to, to come in Mexico. Okay, come in Mexico, yeah. Uh -huh, that's it. We don't uh, ask for a visa, for example, no? American people ask for a visa. Yeah. We don't, yeah. we don't. Okay, thank you, Ignacio. Berta, what's your opinion? Do we have the Mexic those Mexico have strict immigration laws no no i don't think so because uh, mexico doesn't have strict immigration laws that's why many people come from everywhere to stay here in mexico mm -hmm. that's it okay and uh, well in my opinion uh, we should ask for a visa to many people who come here. In San Miguel de Allende, there are many strangers, many people from other countries who are living in San Miguel de Allende. In Cancun, there is also lots of immigrants, American immigrants, English, French people who come to Mexico to live. And even there are some parts in San Miguel de Allende where the currency is not peso, it's the dollar. And oh, there are some no. places where Mexican people can't enter. Oh, yes. So in Zacatecas, there is the Menonita community and yes. me Mexicans are not permitted to go in. So I say, how is it possible? that we Mexican can't pass through Mexico because some strangers are living in. It is uh, uh, strange. Yes, it's strange. Yeah, it's well, not possible. <laughs> yeah, that, well, that's my opinion. Yes. Uh, all right. Well, you know what? We, we could be talking for a long time about this beautiful topic. But time is over, so I yes. don't want to say any question, any commentary. I want commentary. Yep. Any oh. commentary? Any question? Uh, in my opinion, it, uh, it was a very productive class today. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Thank you very much. Thanks to you. Uh, it was so kind from you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Your, your speak is very clear and very good. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, kids. Well, thank you for your attention, for your attendance, for your participation, and meet you next class. Have a very good night. Thank you. Same to you, teacher. Likewise. Thank you very much. Good night. Thank you very much. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.